You've probably seen these stylized videos floating around social media. They are pretty popular. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these types of videos for absolutely free using Stable Diffusion and the Deforum extension. The Deforum extension can be a little intimidating with so many variables and settings. But don't worry, just follow along. Pause the video and rewind when needed. I'll guide you step by step, so you too can create these stylized videos. We will need of course Stable Diffusion, the Deforum extension, and ControlNet. I will be using a 1.5 model and my model of choice is epic realism. We will also be using Loras for our style effects to get more consistency with our styles. So for this example, I'll be using this Laura. Niji Armor Laura suits. Now, this step that I am about to show you isn't required, but improves the video by giving you a less flickery output. If you don't want to modify your files, you don't need to. Your video will just be more flickery. However, I know most of you want that cleaner quality. So first, we need to open File Explorer. Head over to your Stable Diffusion folder. For me, it's D Drive Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now go into the Modules folder, locate the shared.py file. Holding down the control key click on shared.py and drag it anywhere to make a copy of the file. Rename that copy to shared-backup.py. Now right click on the original shared.py file and click edit. It will open up a notepad. Press ctrl plus F and search for initial underscore noise next to minimum, set it to 0.0. .0. Now hit ctrl plus S to save and close notepad. Next, let's fire up Stable Diffusion. Head over to Settings. Click Show All Pages. Now press Ctrl plus F and search for Quick Settings. In the Quick Settings box, type Initial Noise Multiplier and click on it. Now scroll back up and click on Apply Settings then Reload UI. Stable Diffusion should be primed and ready. But first, we will need a video. So, I'll head over to Pixels.com and find a video. I'll just look for a dance video, since that's what's trendy at the moment, so change the drop down menu from photo to video and type dance. I'll use this video so download and save the video and now we are going to scale it down. Let's head over to easygif.com. Click on video to gif then click on resize. Choose your video then click on upload. Under new width enter 1024. Under new height enter 576. This is just to speed things up when running it through the forum. If you have the computing power to go straight from the original video at 1920 by 1080 then you can skip this step. For most of us, we want to downscale it. Now, for some reason. For vertical videos, you'll want to use the resolution 576 by 1024. For horizontal videos, you'll want to use the resolution 1024 by 576. I tried different wide and tall formats and for some reason they always error out. These were the only sizes that would work for me. Now, let's extract a frame, since we are still here at easygif.com. Click on video to JPG and re-upload the new scaled version of your video and extract a still frame. Perfect, we are now ready to go back to Stable Diffusion. Now that we are back inside of Stable Diffusion, let's go to the Image to Image tab. We will need to load our still frame from our downscaled video that we just extracted. Now, we need to load our LoRa and set our positive and negative prompt. Change the width to 1024 and the height to 576. Change the denoise to 1 and the CFG to 5. Now we will use two control nets. I suggest playing around with the control net combinations as you'll get different results. In this video, we will use Kenny and Tile for our control net. So let's enable the first control net which will be Kenny and enable the second control net which is Tile. For Tile, we do not need a preprocessor. Now let's generate a test image. If you're satisfied with the settings then head over to the forum. If not, continue to mess with your prompt, loras and control nets until you find something you like. For this example, I'll use these settings and head over to the forum. Now, let's set up the forum. Change the width to 1024 and the height to 576. If you're going with a tall video swap the width and height values. Keep the seed at negative 1 and for the batch name, name it something you'll remember. For me, I named it Dancing Man. Now let's go to the keyframes tab. Set the animation mode to 3D. Under border mode select wrap. Set your cadence to 1. Set your strength schedule to 0. Under CFG tab. Set the CFG scale schedule to 5. In the seed tab. Set seed behavior to fixed. Now, under the motion tab. Set translation Z to 0. Under the noise tab. Set the noise schedule to 0. Under the coherence tab. Set color coherence to none. 
Now let's go to the Props tab. Enter your positive prompt and negative prompt. Now, under the init tab, go to the sub tab video in it. Paste the path to your video. To get the path of your video open explorer and go to your video. Hold shift and right click on your video. Select copy as path. Now paste that path under video in it path. Remove the quotes. Now check override extracted frames. Let's go to the control net tab. We will use the same settings as we did when we were in the image to image tab. So let's enable the first control net and choose canny. Now let's enable the second control net and select tile. Paste the path to your video in both control nets. Next let's go to the hybrid video tab. Choose before motion. Check generate input frames. Click on optical flow. Here you will see raft, dis medium, dis fine, and far and back. Let me explain them. Raft. Imagine you had a super smart robot that learned how to look at two pictures and figure out how things move between them. Raft is like that robot. It looks at all parts of the picture to make really good guesses about the movement. Dis. Think of this like using a magnifying glass. Sometimes, you might want to look at things closely. Look at it closely. Look at it closely. That's fine. And other times, you might be okay with a quick general look. That's medium. This is like using the magnifying glass to match parts of one picture with parts of the next picture to see how they've moved. Farnback. Imagine you had a puzzle, and by looking at two pieces, you could guess how the surrounding pieces should look. Farnback does something like that, but for movement. It takes a quick look at the pictures and makes good guesses about how things move. For this example, let's go with Raft. Now under Hybrid Schedule, set the Comp Alpha Schedule to 1. Now let's head over to Output. In Output, we will need to set our FPS. We will need to match it to our video. To find the FPS of our video, open File Explorer and go to Video. Right-click and select Properties. Select Details, then you will see Frame Rate. This video is 30 FPS. So let's set our FPS to 30. We are ready to generate. But before we do, let's save our settings. Let's call it hybrid 2 vdeformtxt Now click save. Now anytime you want to restore these settings, copy the path of your saved file which will be in your root directory of stable diffusion install. Paste the path and click load settings. Now let's generate. This will take some time. So I suggest planning accordingly before generating. Just so coincidentally a few hours before finalizing this video, I was going to generate some samples using different control net combinations and got this error. So I checked the deform discord and there were people already having the same issue. After hours waiting, I decided to open a ticket on control net. And every time I create a stable diffusion video using extensions I will always uninstall any extensions that I am not using as a safe measure. Control net mentioned that the stack code has nothing to do with control net and that it's a deform problem. So they closed the ticket. Going back to deform, they mentioned that that it's a known issue and they are working on it so if you're getting this issue you can either roll back your install to get it working don't update to the latest version yet until they get it fixed also some users on the deform discord found a temporary fix so if you do not want to roll your installation back to an older date or wait for the fix you could also enable loopback mode under control net and deform but who knows this could be a fix that happens within a few hours to a fix that takes a few days which is why i decided to just showcase the error because by the time you're watching this video it may or may not still be an issue However, if they do get it fixed before then you won't have to worry about the error. This setback kind of got me discouraged because I was already 90% done editing the video and wrapping this video up then this problem started to happen. But you know what? In the ever-changing world of AI and technology, glitches and setbacks are a part of the journey. It's all about embracing the challenge and finding creative solutions. And that's exactly what we're doing here at AI Controversy. Speaking of creative solutions, if you found a different workaround to this issue, or if you've got thoughts, suggestions, or even questions about stable diffusion, deform extension, or any other aspects of today's session, drop a comment down below. Let's get the conversation going. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's your chance. Click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss out on all the latest tutorials and AI news that I cover. Until the next exploration, keep experimenting, stay curious, and happy video creating.